right Republican now. Republican vice presidential nominee wrapped up another campaign rally here in Michigan this afternoon. J.D. Vance was on the east side of the state last week. Yeah, and today he delivered remarks at an industrial hauling business in Byron Township. Our Josh Berry was there to capture it all. The spotlight is once again back on West Michigan with J.D. Vance's return to this area. And the backdrop of it today, Cordis Incorporated. And if you looked around the event today, you could see their trucks and their heavy trailers prominently displayed around the venue. I'm told that they actually did that both as a chance to showcase their business, but for security reasons as well, blocking sight lines and access to the venue. But in addition to that, there's also political concerns for a business like this hosting an event like this. We're going to take back the White House. We're going to restore American manufacturing. We're going to restore a whole country, and it's going to start right here in the state of Michigan. This is J.D. Vance's third visit to the state since being announced, the second to West Michigan. Wednesday afternoon, the Republican vice presidential hopeful spoke to the crowd in the parking lot of Cordis Incorporated. It was preaching to the choir in this setting. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Absolutely not. So let's bring Donald Trump back, right? The theme of the speech? Speaking to what many people here struggle with, inflation, gas prices, especially in this industry. And I know we're a trucking company. You think truckers benefit when gas prices go up 50%? No. And neither do the people who depend on truckers, which is every single one of us. After the speech, we spoke to Charlie Cordes, who co-owns the company with his brother, Steve. We can't raise our prices at a high enough rate to make up for inflation. And so we're, we've been given our employees raises because they're dealing with inflation. It's a momentous occasion for the family owned business. It was a little bit of an imposition, but we'll forget that tomorrow, right? But we're gonna remember this day for the rest of our lives. And it's a big undertaking, both for security and political reasons. It's a local business picking political sides. We're concerned, but I, I, think, I think they'll control themselves. I'm confident, I think, I think they might be on the other side of the aisle. Maybe they'll be mad at us for a little while, but I, I mean, hopefully they realize that we're just Americans like they are, right? They say it's worth it, though, to host the person who may become the next vice president of the United States. We're going to start here in Michigan. It's going to start a fire that goes across the United States of America. Let everybody hear that America is ready to reelect Donald J. Trump, the president again, and Michigan, it's going to start with you. God bless you all. Thank you for doing everything you do, and thank you for having me. And at the end of today's speech, J.D. Vance did address the importance of Michigan and even more specifically Kent County, where we are today. And that Kent County could play a critical role in the race for presidency because we've seen it in the past. The candidate who won Michigan in the last two presidential elections, 2016 and 2020, went on to win the presidency. Even more narrowed down, the candidate who won Kent County won the state. Reporting in Byron Township, I'm Josh Berry, Fox 17 News. Michigan Democrats held a press call this morning in response to Vance's visit. Senator Debbie Stabenow and State Rep Christian Grant both blasted the Trump campaign, saying Michiganders cannot afford to see them win the race for president. But J.D. Vance's spin doesn't erase the facts, the lives, the livelihoods that were lost under Donald Trump's disastrous handling of the economy and COVID. We can't afford to go back. I know that we are going to decisively reject MAGA and everything that it stands for. And we are going to ride this exciting wave that Democrats are starting where we can celebrate, we can be happy about what the future is. Both presidential campaigns are focusing on the economy this week. Today, former President Donald Trump is set to hold a rally in Asheville, North Carolina. His campaign is calling the speech a significant economic address. Meanwhile, Vice President Kamala Harris is scheduled to lay out her economic vision for the country on Friday, also in North Carolina. Her speech and rally is expected to announce a plan that makes tackling inflation a top priority.